Colorado Springs City Council president says the pothole problem isn't an emergency, but Mayor Steve Bach says the roads are the worst he's ever seen. Both agree roads are a top priority. City Council just talked to the city's transportation manager about fixing this pricey problem. Now, the two groups do not see eye to eye. Caradio News Channel 13's Emily Allen found out there is still no decision on where to get the money to fix these potholes. For drivers, it's a clear decision on the roads. Slow down, swerve, merge, anything to avoid the potholes. But for city council and the city, the decision on who pays to fix this problem on the roads is not clear. This is the first time that we've asked for an, um, an additional appropriation for pavement repair. So I think that really is the issue. It costs about $10 to fill one pothole. But on some streets here in Colorado Springs, the cost to fix the problem could be a lot more. This is not just a matter of throwing some cold mix into a pothole and leaving it. We need to dig out major areas of streets where we have multiple potholes. City Council President Keith King says there are $2 million available through the Pikes Peak Rural Transportation Authority. But transportation manager Kathleen Krieger says that money is already being spent elsewhere. King says road projects can be reprioritized. He's worried about dipping into the city's fund balance to get the money. We're getting down to a fairly tight amount of money that we have above the Tabor Reserve. And so it's going to be an issue of how uh, much we have an opportunity to uh, use that fund balance for because uh, they've told us we don't have any fund balance in five years. And so what are we going to do when we're out of fund balance? City Council and the city say they are working quickly to make a decision so road work can begin as soon as possible. That was Emily Allen reporting. Now, City Council and the city hope to make a decision during tomorrow's meeting.